This section covers the wing folding procedure. First, make sure your brake lever is set by turning it clockwise to the set position. Make sure the tail section is supported to prevent fuselage and wing damage during and after the wing folding procedure. Make sure to release and separate the safety coupler from the ailerons. Now remove the safety pin from the wing pin. Make sure the flap hinge is disconnected from the flap tube to prevent overstressing the attached strut for the flap. Also, make sure you keep pressure on the flap to ensure it does not come down and strike the fuselage. Now, using your tool supplied by Remus to remove the pin and by having your assistant supply slight upward pressure, you can easily remove the wing pin from the wing. Once the wing pin has been removed, let the wing come away from the fuselage slightly to clear the flap tube. While rotating the wing back, make sure to keep pressure on the wing root and rotate to ensure the wing does not strike the contact points for the wing pin. Once the wing is folded in the aft position, attach the wooden wing supports provided by Remus. During the reinstallation procedure, once the wing gets to the position where it requires pressure in order to bring it up to the horizontal position, make sure to clear the forward attach points slightly. Make sure the forward and aft attach points for the wing and fuselage are level and the flap tube is in line with the flap hinge. Once the wing has been reattached to the aircraft, ensure the flap pin has recessed into the groove of the flap tube. Now that everything is in line, apply pressure to the wing making sure the wing is snug against the attach points and slide the wing pin into place. Then apply the safety pin to the wing pin. Now reinstall the ailerons by attaching and locking the coupler into place.